this is Xavier from xdtutorials.com and we're going to be talking about how to organize your script foos into your menu toolbar. So you'll see I'll open up GIMP here and you'll notice that I just downloaded a new script. Um, it's this Sandbrook JM and it's appearing in my filters folder and just for an organizational standpoint I like to put all my script foos into my script foo folder and you know I even have some script foos like this layer effects that I use it so often that I created a brand new menu item in my toolbar here so for this one what we're going to be doing for this Sandbrook JM we're going to move this over to the script foo folder um, it's something that you don't need to be an in-depth scripter to be able to figure this out or, or to make the changes I just like to tell people always make a copy of that script before you go in and make any changes just in case uh, you accidentally delete a semicolon or something like that you can always revert back to the original so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my GIMP 2.8 scripts uh, folder and this particular script is called this JMS 3D rot image and I'm gonna open this up now you can open it up with notepad I um, have a program called notepad plus plus it's basically a souped up notepad that I can go in and change different scripts fairly easily now what you're gonna be looking for is the wording script foo menu register that's gonna tell you basically where that script foo items is going to show up in your menu and it's really simple you're gonna see it's gonna say image filters Sandbrook JM so I'm gonna change this to image script foo and capitalization does many matter it's just like if you go into you know a regular folder here you know your folder names are gonna matter the spelling and, and capitalization I'm gonna simply save that go back to my GIMP, do filters, script foo, refresh scripts. Now you have to either close GIMP and reopen it or hit this refresh scripts in order for script foo to to appear here. Now you'll see I spelt script foo with an F and a U in there so I'm getting two menu items here but you'll see with script foo now my Sam Brook JM option is appearing right there so just to show you spelling and capitalization does matter um, if you wanted to create your own brand new menu item you just name it something different than what's already there now to change it into something like you can put it into the blur or or noise or anywhere else that you wanted to we can go do that right now if I wanted to say do filters and put it into my render folder let's simply go back to the script type in filters slash render slash Sandbrook JM save it refresh now if I go filters render Here's my Sandbrook JM. Okay. Well, thanks for watching. If you like this video, you know, subscribe, like it, um, check out the website. There's a lot of other videos out there for you to uh, go through. So that's xdtutorials.com. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye.